Hello guys and welcome back to Life with Polly. Um, today I'm sitting outside with my dog. As you can see, her name is Annabelle. She's relaxing beside me. I wanted to give everybody an update. Um, the first night that I camped out in a tent, it was pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. Um, a couple times I did think I was making a mistake or made a mistake by giving up my three bedroom apartment. Um, but now I just realized that I just had to do it and it was something that I had to take on and I just had to change my life. So I just did it. Um, now I could tell you that if you are planning on going from an apartment to living in a car or living the van life or even living in the RV life, um, you are going to have to make some big changes. Um, it is not easy. I can guarantee you that if you don't have everything figured out, um, part by part, it's going to be very hard on you. Um, the first day that I actually camped out, I got sick that day, um, because I did so much, so many things, so much work that I've never done before, um, with packing stuff, getting stuff unpacked, figuring out where things go setting up the tent and it, it is hectic let me tell you if you are just transitioning from a three-bedroom apartment or any kind of apartment to living in an rv or living um in your car on the road being a nomad a van lifer whatever you want to call it i would suggest that you actually start planning ahead of time now, that goes with saying, I think you should just do it. If you're thinking about making a change, you should just do it. But some things that you make a change of, you have to think out, you have to plan out. And I would say that if you're looking to, um, you know, live the nomad life like I want to, I want to save enough money to buy a van, a used van, not an expensive van, but a used van, um, off of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace so I could turn it into my tiny home. Of course, a van has got more space than a car, except for if you got a station wagon. I do not have a station wagon. I have a 2007 Saturn Ion. Now, I do fit in the back. If I put the seats down, I do fit in the back, and I could sleep comfortably in there. Um, last night, I tried it, and it was very comfortable, but then it got too hot, so I had to go back in the tent. So if you're going to sleep in a car even at night or a van at night, I would suggest that you have a fan or something in your car. Because even if you leave the windows open a little bit, you're going to get a little bit of air, but you're not going to get a lot of air unless you leave your windows all the way down. And of course, you can't do that when it's raining and you don't want to do that when there's bugs out and mosquitoes and things like that. Because of course, those bugs and mosquitoes are going to come into the car and they're going to get you at night. But anyways, I wanted to update everybody. I will be making more videos. I probably will be doing some live streams here. Um, right now, I'm just in the process of getting everything settled down. This is only my second day living the car life. Um, so bear with me, and I will shoot another video soon. I might go live sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. I hope you are all having a good day. And if you're new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Any all notification bell to the right hand side. Remember, if you want to make a change, don't think about it. Just do it.